Cisco just launched a new iOS XE1602 release. This is the first common software release for routers and switches. The upgrade procedure from a 15.0x release to a 16.0.2 release requires some additional steps and also has some caveats as well. In this video I'm going to show you what you have to do to successfully upgrade your router to the new 16.0.2 release. Before we upgrade, let's have a look at the hardware and software that is supported. The good news is that all ISA 4K models are supported. Only the 4G and the Ether switch NIMS are currently not supported. If you have one of these NIMS in your router, you should wait with upgrading your software until they are supported. You can also consult your migration guide, I have added the link at the bottom of the screen. There are also a few software features that are not supported in the first release. For reference, I've listed them here. Now let's have a look at the actual upgrade steps. It is a best practice to save your config first to an external server before running a software upgrade. I recommend it before every upgrade. Next we have to download the ROMmon and iOS XE binaries from Cisco.com and copy them onto the router. After that we can proceed with the ROMmon upgrade. We can either reload right after the ROMmon upgrade to make sure it was successful or we can reload only after both ROMmon and iOS XE are upgraded. In this video I'll reload twice just to verify every step. After the ROMmon is upgraded we have to change the boot string to point to the new 1602 image. Activating this new image will require a second reload. Next I'll show you how I upgrade the ROMmon in my system. You can see here the show version including image that I'm running a 4451 with a version 1553. Now let me show you my flash. Here. You can see here I already copied the Roman image as well as the iOS binary onto the flash directory, so we are good to go. Now the command is upgrade ROM monitor file name boot flash and I copy the string in and say all to upgrade all components. And here we go. The ROMON upgrade is fully automatic and takes about 5 minutes to complete. To keep this video short, I fast forward the capture. To activate the new ROMON, we have to do a reload. But before I do that, I want to verify the current version via Show ROM Monitor. We can see here that 1532R is the currently active ROM Monitor version. Alright, now let's go ahead and do a reload and see what it comes up with. Save config. Yeah, and fire. During boot up we can now see that there's an upgrade request pending and it's actually upgrading the hardware right now. This entire process takes about 6 minutes so I've accelerated the video here as well. Now that we reloaded the router, let's have a quick look into the show ROM monitor, what the current version is. Uh, RP active shows 16.21R is active, so our upgrade was successful. Next step is to change the boot parameter for the iOS. Let's have a look what the current one is. It's the string here, 15.53. Let's remove the old boot string. And now I'll look at the file name for the new one, just to copy it in quicker. And boot system boot flash 16.2 image. Alright. Save configuration and let's go for another reload. Technically it is possible to do the Roman and iOS upgrade with one reload, but I prefer to do the Roman upgrade first and verify if it was successful. Also, the newer Roman works with older iOS XE 15.x images as well. Alright, now that we've upgraded Roman and iOS, let's have a quick look of what the router came up with. A show version, we can see here. Uh, version is 16.2 and the code name for this one is Denali. This completes my example of upgrading an ISA 4K router to the new 16.2 image. I hope this has been useful for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.